Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Today's class will be a strong level two flow. We'll be working in a bunch of standing poses, but really nothing you haven't seen before. Um, the idea with today's class is to focus, concentrate, um, do what you can do, but do it with integrity and intention. And I'll remind you that throughout class. We'll start as we do in a comfortable seated position, taking support under your sits bones to protect your lower back and then palms face down. If you're feeling any kind of anxiety, palms face up if you need a little bit of energy, and that's me today for sure. And then we'll take our grounding breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, inhaling through your nose and out through your mouth. Last time, inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. Let's bring our hands to heart center as we move deeper into our breath. Setting an intention for yourself, it can be what I've suggested to work with integrity and intention or something else that you feel you need today and start to breathe in and out through your nose. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And focus on your breath. Focus on the sound of your breath, the way that your breath moves through your body, and where you can find an opening with your breath. Quieting the mind moving from our thinking body into our feeling body. As you focus on your breath, see if you can make it longer, twice as long, inhale, twice as long, exhale. Finding your cadence of breath. Finding the pace that you'll be working with today. Releasing your hands as you need to. Continue to breathe. Continue to focus inward. Find the connection between your sits bones and the crown of your head. Reminding yourself to have a straight spine. A strong spine. And now keeping a soft gaze or with your eyes closed, we'll place our right foot out to the side and our left sole of the foot to the inner thigh for Jhana Shirshasana. Strong right leg, working with integrity. 
place your right hand to the inside of your right leg, bringing your left arm up and over your ear for a side body stretch. Find your pace of breath again, inhaling to expand through your left side rib cage and exhaling, stretching a little deeper over to the right. Let your head go, let your jaw go. Second arm position, chest opener, palm is flexed and facing forward. Continue letting your head drop to the side as you turn your heart to the sky and let that left arm come behind you a little bit, finding a stretch through the pectorals. And then third arm position, neck release. Palm is also flexed, but facing down. Depress through your left shoulder. Let your head fall to the right, finding a stretch through the side of your neck. If the back of your neck is more tender, you'll roll your head a little bit forward. Let your jaw go, let your tongue go. Sit back up and turn your torso so you're facing your right leg. Heart towards knee, walking your hands forward. It's a twist and a hamstring stretch. So you'll come down as far as you're able to with that long spine and then come up onto your right fingertips to help initiate the twist. Grabbing onto your foot if it's right there in front of you, otherwise keep your left hand down to support you. Back to your breath. Find the cadence and the pace of your breath. And then walking your hands back up. We'll open our legs for Upavista Konasana, flexing the feet, engaging through your legs so that you have this firm foundation to work from. Hands behind your back, sit up nice and straight and push your pelvis a little bit forward so that your legs spread just a little bit more. Staying here if this is plenty for you, otherwise bringing your hands forward and using your straight spine, walk your hands down, belly towards the floor instead of your head towards the floor so you're not rounding down. The beginning of your practice, depending on what time of day you're practicing, you'll end up being tighter. So don't have any expectations. Go with it. See how you're feeling, not how you think you should be feeling. Walking your hands back up to center. We'll do the other side. So bending your right leg in, left leg long and flexed. <clears throat> left arm to the inside of the left leg. Right arm reaches up and over for that side body stretch. And let your jaw go, let your tongue release. Allow your head to drop to the side. Second arm position, chest opener, palm is flexed facing forward, and then we allow our right shoulder to lead us in that chest opening. Let your head go, keeping your left foot flexed, left leg strong. And then last arm position, Palm is still flexed, but points down about 18 inches above your mat. You'll depress through the right shoulder, letting your head fall to the left, finding your sensitive spot and let your head go. Come back up to center. 
consciously turn your body towards your left leg so that your heart is pointing towards your knee. And then start walking your hands forward, remembering to push through your lower back up to the crown of the head. Maybe you grab onto your foot, maybe not. Left arm is over to the side to help you initiate your twist. Come back up, opening your legs out to the side, Upa Vista Konasana again. We'll move into a little bit of rhythmic core work here, and you'll see what I mean. So we inhale here, exhale, bring your legs together in Baddha Konasana. Take an inhale, exhale, extend your legs for boat pose, inhale. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Inhale. Exhale, Upavista Konasana. Inhale. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Inhale. Exhale, Navasana. Inhale. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, exhale, Upavista Konasana. And I like to tilt back and then boom, down I go. Inhale here. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. We'll do one more time. Inhale, exhale, Navasana. And I'm keeping my hands down here for support. Inhale, exhale, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, exhale, Upavista Konasana. Inhale, sit up nice and straight, and let's fold forward again. Exhaling down. Starting to warm up those hips, hip flexors. Release your jaw. So inhale, looking up. Exhale, walk your hands back in. Bringing your legs together, we'll transition to hands and knees. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly, heart pulls through shoulders, looking up at the sky. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Stretching your front body. Exhale, cat. Stretch your back body, spread your scapula. Inhale, cow, find the connection with your hands. Exhale, cat. Come to a neutral spine, moving into thread the needle. Right hand to the middle of your mat, left arm up to the sky, twist. Exhale, diving under your right arm, left side of the head comes down to the mat. Again, you can use your fingertips as a prop to help get deeper into this twist. Let your head relax so your neck is long and relax down, stretching the side of your neck. And then moving your left arm through a little bit more, a little bit more, getting a stretch through your left shoulder. One more inhale here. Exhale, come back to center. Place your right hand down. Inhale, left arm comes back up. And exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, dive under your left arm, right side of the head to the mat. Stretching your right shoulder. Staying on your left fingertips to help initiate that twist. Finding your breath here and finding release through your neck. Inhale. Exhale, place your hand down. Inhale, right arm up for your twist. And exhale, both hands under shoulders. 
Walk your hands forward for Anahatasana, heart melting pose. Looking forward, if you can reach your chin to the mat, fantastic. If not, continue looking forward. Push into your palms, elbows are off the mat. Breathing. Now if this bothers your neck for any reason, place your forehead on the ground. Walk your hands back in, preparing for down dog. Tuck toes, lift hips, push up and back. So find stability, come back to the pace of your breath. And then everyone strongly bend your knees so you can find that straight line of your spine. Connection from the palms of your hands all the way to your sits bone pushing and lengthening your vertebrae. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, straightening your legs, maintaining that long, strong spine. If when you straighten your legs, your back starts rounding, bend your knees so you can maintain that long spine. Walk your feet as wide as your mat, hands as wide as your mat, grabbing onto the edges for a little bit of shoulder flossing. Pulling your mat apart like you could rip it down the center. Bring your forehead closer to the mat. So through your shoulders if possible. Pull your belly in. We still have our straight spine. Again, if your hamstrings are tighter, you'll keep your knees bent, heels off the mat. Come back to your version of down dog, your most favorite one. Imprinting here, this will be our relaxation pose throughout class today. Now, if this does not feel warm, fuzzy, relaxing when you're in it, you'll take the Anahatasana version or a wide-legged child's pose. Looking forward. Walk your hands back to your feet. Haha, I tricked you. And then grab opposite elbows. Dangling down ragdoll. Tighter hamstrings, bending the knees a little bit. Feeling your belly pull towards your thighs. Actually, everybody do that. Bend your knees, placing your belly on your thighs as much as you're able to. So you feel the weight of your torso coming down towards the floor. If you're able to straighten your legs while maintaining that, go for it. If not, keep that bend in your knees and the weight in your torso. Inhale, release hands, look up. Exhale, walk your hands forward to plank. Take an inhale and plank. Push down through your hands. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Belly down, back bends. Walk your hands forward a little bit for a low cobra. Pushing your pelvis down, tops of the feet down, we'll inhale into our cobra. Shoulders back towards your spine, chest presenting forward, and maybe you look up if that feels good to stretch your neck. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Take your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers. Shalabhasana, bring your legs together as much as possible. Push your pelvis down. And then on an inhale, lift your head, chest, and shoulders up, reaching your fist to the wall behind you. And then on your next inhale, lift those feet up. 
Ideally, your feet and your head are in the same line, but of course you can't really see. One more inhale here and exhale. Lower down, release your hands. Place your head on the ground, one side or the other. Relax. Place your hands maybe a little bit closer in for our next cobra. Pelvis down, tops of feet down, knees up. On an inhale, lifting, stretching through your heart. Now everybody lift your shoulders up, down, and squeeze. And there you go, shoulders away from ears, heart presenting forward. Lower back down. Rest on the other cheek. Inhale back to center, this time up dog if you'd like to try it. Fingers to the center of your chest, tuck your toes, and lift. Straighten your arms all the way, knees, hips, everything off the mat, and then tuck your toes back. Shoulders again, take a little bend in your elbows, lift up, down, and squeeze, and then straighten your arms. So we're presenting our heart forward, looking forward or up if it doesn't strain your neck. Take an inhale, exhale back to down dog, use your core. Notice your breath. Notice if the pace of your breath has changed in any way. Let's strive to keep our breath constant throughout practice today. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels, and tiptoe between your hands. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Push into your feet and lift all the way up. Hands to heart center. Our three grounding breaths again, coming back to your intention. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, inhaling. And exhaling. Last one in. And out. Half Surya A's to get the pace of our breath. Inhaling arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine nice and long. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, push into your feet to lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Push into your feet to lift, just like a handstand. Urdhva Hastasana, lift, lift, lift. And exhale, Tadasana. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Stretch, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Surya A without the Chaturanga. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to down dog. Two breaths. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels, float or step, feet between the hands. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Push into your feet and lift all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels, float or step, feet between the hands. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Push into your feet and lift all the way up, inhaling. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two rounds of lunge salutes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, plant hands, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, plant hands, plank chaturanga or down dog. Inhale, use your full inhale for your back bend. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, step through, left knee down. Inhaling, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, traction spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So find the pace. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction spine. Exhale, step the left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, arms up, belly in. Exhale, plant hands. Plank Chaturanga or Down Dog. Full breath, hold. Inhale, Up Dog or Cobra. And exhale, Down Dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, step through, right knee down. Inhale, chest up, belly in. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, or Bahastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do that one again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, plant hands, plank chaturanga or down dog. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through, left knee lands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, plank chaturanga or down dog. Cobra or up dog. Back to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through, right knee down. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, plant hands, step forward. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Half Surya A to settle down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, Utkatasana. Hold. Moving into Surya B variants with standing poses. Remembering to focus on the pace of your breath and the quality of your movement. So no rushing. No, I'm gonna say half-assing it. Try to work with your intention and integrity. One more inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, plank chaturanga or down dog. Cobra or up dog. And back, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through, stay on the ball of your left foot. Inhale, crescent lunge. Shoulders away from ears. Arms with intention, straight. If you have the opening in your shoulders, touch your palms. Notice your back leg and your left hip flexor. If you're feeling a lot of stretch there, a lot of strain, bend your left knee so you can square your hips and gently open the left front hip flexor and psoas. Bend more deeply into the front knee. Inhale, stretch your heart up a little bit more. Exhale, hands to heart center, twisting to the right. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Now, if you're like me with a little bit of wonky balance today, left hand can come to the outer edge of your mat, the left side, right arm up. Back to your breath. Okay, stabilize your legs. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, plank chaturanga or down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Step through, stay on the ball of your right foot and lift up, crescent lunge. Bending the back knee as much as you need to to square your hips, teasing your right front hip flexor and psoas open. Notice your shoulders. Let's do the squeeze. So up, down, squeeze. All right. Touch palms if you have that opening. Otherwise, fingers to the sky, straight elbows. Sink a little deeper in your front knee. Inhale, chest up a little higher. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist left. Use your back foot to stabilize you, strengthening the pose. And every time we come to stillness, think of your breath as the meditation, pacing it, moving deeper into your feeling body. Exhaling here. Inhale, stretch it back up. Woo, try not to fall over. Exhale, plank chaturanga or down dog. Rest in down dog or child's pose. Three breaths.
Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, step through. This time, left heel down for Virabhadrasana 1. Inhaling, arms up. Take your hands to your hips, the top hip bone, so right above that, and pull it up. Okay, there's your pelvic tilt. So we want both headlights, your hip bones pointing forward, strong connection with both feet in the ground, and a slight tilt of the pelvis so you're not you're flaring your lower back, belly in. Inhale, arms up for your warrior one. Exhale, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. If you don't have that opening in your shoulders quite yet, grab onto opposite forearms, shoulders back, presenting your chest. Take an inhale here, and then carefully with your exhale, fold so that your right shoulder comes to the inside of your right knee. Back to your breath. Focusing, slowing it down, finding your pace. And then release your hands, lift all the way up again, warrior one. Reset your foot so it's a little bit closer. Left foot forward, straighten both legs. Exhale, fold forward. Pyramid pose with lengthened spine. Take your right hand to your sacrum. Self-adjustment, so feeling if one hip is higher than the other, one hip is pulling forward or back, and try to center. And the way that you do that is equal pressure on your feet, squeezing your inner thighs towards each other so you have that stability. Lengthen through the crown of your head, reach through your tailbone, extend. Another inhale here. On your exhale, rounding forward over the right leg. Opening up your hamstring, using your breath to move deeper into your posture. Take your hands behind your left leg if you want the bind, interlacing your fingers. Notice your breath again. So I keep saying that, but it's so important, especially when we're focusing on it in a practice like this, using the breath as your meditation, using the breath to figure out the integrity of your posture. If you're struggling, maybe back off. Inhale, extend your spine long again. Exhale here. Inhale, come all the way up. So we're in a shortened stance here. Arms can come up or bring them to heart center. Warrior three, bending the front knee. Stepping forward and lifting the back foot. So just like Shalabhasana, we have this head and ankle in the same line, maybe. I can't really see what's happening, <laughs> but trying to feel that a little bit. Breathing. Head forward, heel back. One more inhale. Exhale, gently stepping back, place your hands down. Inhale to plank or down dog. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And back, down dog. So we're flowing, but we're taking our time to do it. Using the breath as your meditation. Using your breath to tell you where you are in your practice and taking it out of your brain. Okay, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, step through, right heel down. Inhaling, warrior one. Self-adjustment, hands to the top of your hip bones. Squeezing so that you're tilting your pelvis up a little bit. Bend in your front knee. Push strongly into both feet. And that'll give you the stability to build on the pose. 
Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace fingers or grab opposite forearms. Another inhale here. Exhale, folding. Left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Now notice if your hips went wonky on you. Square up your hips, push deeply into both feet. On your next inhale, coming back to warrior one, hands to heart center, step the back foot forward, shortening your stance. Inhale, lift your heart to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Pyramid extension. Left hand to your sacrum. Feeling if you could balance a coffee cup there or a wine glass. A wine glass would be even better. Place your left hand down again on the floor or on a block and extend through the crown of your head. One more inhale, extend, exhale, fold. Round down, full stretch on that left hamstring. Maybe bind around the outside of both legs, interlacing your finger behind the right knee or somewhere along the right leg. Look forward, plant hands. Bend the front knee to lift all the way up. Hands to heart center. Bending your front knee so you're in a very shortened stance. And then on your exhale, we're stepping up warrior three. So all of that hip stabilization we worked on, squeezing in, having an even sacrum, crown of the head forward, lifting the heel and the head at the equal height, we're putting together here. And then gently stepping back, plant your hands. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way, breath out. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog, rest. Three breaths, down dog, child's pose. It's a good time to take a sip of water. Okay, so maybe it's a little bit more than three breaths, but you should be resting. Okay, moving into open hip position postures. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to chest, step through. This time, set the left heel down and inhale up, warrior two. Heel to arch alignment, still pushing very strongly into both feet to stabilize your pose. Placing your hands on your side rib cage, see if you can extend your ribs up from your hips and placing your shoulders over the hips too. Arms out to a T. Inhale here, exhale, extended side angle, right arm to the inside of the right leg, on a block or forearm to your thigh. Right shoulder is depressed down, so it's not creeping up towards your right ear. Left arm to the sky. Once you have that opening across your chest, if you'd like, turn your palm forward and reach so that you have a side body opening on the left side, and you have that connection from your left heel through your left fingertips. Staying here or scooching down so your right shoulder's to the inside of your right knee, left arm comes behind you for a half bind or clasp fingers for a full bind. You can use a strap here, dangling it from your top hand to grab with your bottom.
on an inhale, release, come back to warrior two. Exhale, pinwheel your arms down. Take a vinyasa or step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Knee to chest, step through. And inhale, warrior two. Strong feet. Hands to your side body. Expand your ribs up from your pelvis. And then shoulders on top. Reaching your arms out. Okay, integrity in the arms. It's something that we have trouble finding in warrior two. Flex your palms up, bend your elbows in, and then as if the walls were closing in, push the walls away, push with your hands out, out, out. Feeling the engagement through your shoulders, triceps, all that stuff. And then flatten your palms out. Good, one more breath in. Exhaling, taking the left elbow to your knee or left hand to your block, right arm to the sky. Turn your palm forward and reach up and over your ear. Strong line of energy here. Bend a little deeper in your front knee. Tuck your left hip a little bit further under your body. And then either staying here or half wrap, full wrap, clasp fingers or your strap. So knowing that our peak posture today is bound triangle, bound trikonasana, we're starting to work into the shoulder opening. We've got a lot of heat to help us here. And then release, inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, left leg up, sorry, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink. Establish your legs. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle, moving directly into a bind. Inhale, release, come up to warrior two. Teasing open into triangle. Take an inhale in warrior two. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, triangle. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here, exhale triangle to hold, okay? Hand either rests on your leg, on a block, or if you have the hamstring opening and side body opening, your fingers may come to the ground. Looking straight ahead or up at your hand, which is traditional, plug that left shoulder into the socket so it's not flaring behind you. If you move this left arm back, it's because you've turned your heart up to the sky. On your next inhale, coming up, warrior two. Exhale, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhaling, warrior two. Exhale, sink. Inhale here again. Exhale, extended side angle, taking the stretch or the bind.
Release if you're bound. Coming back to warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, triangle. Inhale and triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, trikonasana to hold. Extend through your left side body. Plug the right shoulder in and engage through your feet. Exhale, look down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pinwheel the arms, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior two. Have your strap available. Take an inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle with bind. So if you're using a strap, you'll place it in your top hand. Come behind your back and hold on. Now this is, this is always an or not situation. You don't have to do this version of triangle pose. If you wanna try it, great. If not, find your triangle with integrity and extend. So with your bind here in side angle, you start straightening the front leg. Now notice if when you do that, the left shoulder starts coming down and you're rounding. You wanna avoid that. Still opening the heart to the left, Roll your left shoulder up and back. So you're working on heart opening, strong straight spine, and a lot of hamstring on that right leg. Okay, release your strap. Inhale to open into full triangle. See if it feels a little more open now with your leg. Exhale, hands down. Plank Chaturanga or Down Dog. And notice here if one leg feels longer than the other. Okay, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, Warrior Two. Another inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Moving into your bind, if you like, or not. Right shoulder rolling back, chest opening to the right side. And then we're teasing open. We start to extend through the left leg Straightening the left knee, opening your chest to the right side. Okay, if you have a bind, release. Right arm to the sky, extend through your warrior uh, triangle pose. One more inhale, exhale, hands down, vinyasa or down dog. And since we have all this hamstring opening, we're gonna do a cool pose. It's a really short dolphin. 
So it's one that you have to kind of figure out how to get into. And the way that I do this is I bend my knees quite a bit and lock my hands back. And then you want to place your forearms on the ground. So who oh, check me out. I am super bent, right? Super down here. From this position, we start to straighten our legs. So I think I might be a little close today, but we're straightening our legs into Uttanasana, essentially, but we have our forearms down. So you're actually working backwards of the way that you think you should get into this posture. Super strengthening for the shoulders. Don't forget to breathe. One more inhale, and then, oh, come on down. Child's pose, knees apart, toes together. We're done. All done. Okay, coming on to our backs. Actually, we'll make a pit stop. Coming on into Varasana, hero's pose. <clears throat> so, getting into hero's pose, if it's not, I'm not going to say easy because it's not an easy pose, but if you're feeling a lot of, um, of contrary action with your body, then it takes support. There's no such thing as a knee stretch in yoga. If you're feeling a lot of pressure on your knees, back off. So to get deeper into this pose, I like to turn my calves out, moving my calf flesh away, knees together, heels to the outside of my hips. And then if you're able to sit in between, if not, you take your block, prop up as much as you need to. So we're prepping now the front of our legs for the back bending because we did a lot of hamstring opening. Now we need to balance out a little bit with quad front hip flexor. Staying here, if you're on a block, you may want to stay up higher or starting to walk back. Okay. When you feel a lot of, a lot of strain, and I shouldn't say strain, a lot of pressure in your quads, in your hips, then you want to hold. You want to stay where you are. Ultimately, if you can lie back in Supta Varasana, go for it. If you have tighter, a tighter front body, you'll probably stay in a supported position. And then gently walk yourself back up. Release your legs forward. Taking a Paschimottanasana to stretch the backs of our knees. Inhale up, Dandasana. Pull your belly in and then extend forward. Remember belly towards thighs, keeping that back straight and strong. and then lying onto your back. You have a block, hopefully, or some books. If you want a supported bridge, go ahead and take it. That would be your block or your books under your sacrum. Roll your shoulders under and release, allowing your hips to feel the weight and feel the settling. If you'd like a more active bridge, Feet hip distance apart, fingertips just brushing the heels. Tuck your shoulders under. Take an inhale. On your exhale, push deeply into your feet. Lift your hips and push your sternum towards your head. Sternum up to the chin. And then if you're the back of your neck, your cervical spine is feeling any tension, you can lift your chin a little bit here. I like to go post my arms to start to help lift my chest a little higher. So pushing your triceps down, lift your heart up, move your shoulders deeper under your back, and lift. Notice your breath. So anytime you find stillness in a pose, your breath is your meditation. You're finding that, that pattern. You're finding that rhythm 
of your body. Take one more inhale here and exhale slowly down upper back, mid back, lower back. Feet together, knees apart, one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Supta Baddha Konasana, find your breath. And then setting up again for bridge. If you take Urdhva Dhanurasana, you're welcome to take it. For bridge, again, this time we'll take our arms under the body. So we take an inhale, exhale, lift hips, and then interlace your fingers behind your back, pulling your shoulders closer together towards your spine. Push evenly on your feet and with intention. So you're lifting your hips up towards your head, opening through your heart a little bit more, and then looking for that stretch in the front of your quad in the front hip flexor, right? So now we're engaging the back of our leg to help even out. And then without releasing your hands, lower your hips to your forearms. Tuck one pinky inside of the other so it's not getting squished. And just hang out in your chest opener for a moment. One more inhale here, exhale, lift hips, pushing back up into bridge, maybe releasing your hands if you can keep that intention with your shoulders under your body, lifting your heart, stretch the front body. One more inhale, on your exhale, slowly lowering down. Again, Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart, belly and heart. And then to even everything out, I like to do some core work. So bringing your legs up to the sky, Bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers all the way up to the webbing and place it on the back of your head, right where your neck and head come together. Lift your elbows towards the sky. So you're hammocking out your arms. Bend your right knee, knee stays over hip and your left leg lowers to 45 degrees. And immediately there's your core. Keep your lower back down. Take an inhale. Exhale, arms come up and over to the right knee. Inhale, back down, change legs. Exhale, arms to the left knee, or elbows, I should say. Inhale, change legs, come back down. Exhale, elbows to right knee. Inhale, change legs, come back down. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, change legs. Exhale, up you go. Inhale, back down. Exhale, elbows to the left knee. Inhale, back down, lift both legs to the sky. Take your hands underneath your sacrum, underneath the flesh of your butt, palms face down. Roll your shoulders back. Double leg lifts or lowers, because that's what we do first. So flex your legs, keep your feet engaged. On an exhale, lower your legs to about six inches above the mat. Keep your lower back stable. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower your legs. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower your legs. Inhale, back up. Twice more, lower. And up, lower, and up. Release your hands. Let your left leg come down to the floor, but keep it engaged and grab on somewhere on that right leg. Lift your head, chest, and shoulders up.
hold on to the right big toe or keep your hands around the back of your legs somewhere as you lie back down. Sukta Padagustasana. One more inhale. Exhale, both hands to either side of the right leg, lift, core engaged. Taking the outside of your right foot with your left hand or use a strap or grab somewhere along your leg. Right arm out to the side, lie back down. And then exhale, right leg to the left side. You can bend your knee for traditional wind relieving posture if you prefer that. Coming back up to center, lift both legs to the sky. Lower your right leg down. Lift head, chest, and shoulders up. Hold on to the back of your left leg. If you can reach your left big toe with your left hand, grab it. And then lie back down. Right hand to the top of your right thigh. Strong right leg. And then both arms up above your head, bringing them to either side of your left leg. Lift. Holding on to the outer left foot, lower back down and cross over your body. Come back up, lift your right leg to meet your left, bend both knees, hands on your kneecaps, make some circles, releasing your lower back. And then the other way. Happy baby. Knees to the outside of your torso, reach for your inner foot and open. If you'd like to half straddle, straightening your right knee. Rebend, straighten the left. Rebend. If you want full straddle, straighten both. Bring your knees back to center. Give yourself one more hug. If you want to do circles going the other way to release your lower back, feel free. And then we'll splat. Opening out. Shavasana. Feet as wide as your mat, if not wider. Arms opened out so that air can reach every part of your body, allowing your back body to feel heavy on the ground. And finally, releasing that control we've had over the breath, over the intention and the integrity of our practice, and allowing ourselves to be full release. If you need to get any last minute wiggles out, do so. And then try to find complete stillness in your corpse pose.
I have a quote today from Jace O'Neill. Great men and women are not extraordinary people who do extraordinary things. They are ordinary people who do ordinary things with integrity. Beginning to deepen your breath, starting to become aware of the space around you again. As you're ready, rolling on to your right side, deepening your breath into your back body, expanding your rib cage, opening back up. And then as you're ready, pushing into your left hand to lift yourself back up to a comfortable seated position to close class. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale all the air out. Reminding us to have integrity in our actions. Hands to the forehead. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Reminding us to have integrity with our thoughts. And then to the mouth, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, reminding you to have integrity in your communications. Bringing your hands back to heart center, we'll inhale here. Exhale through your mouth, bow your head towards your hands to lock in your practice for today. Finding integrity on the mat and translating that into the rest of your life. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.